YouTube. I'm gonna talk about stages of grief and uh, black women. So usually we, you know, when you're a kid, you're unaware of how the world perceives you, sees you as a black girl, how the black community sees you, how black boys and black men see you and then as you grow up from a girl girlhood when uh, you're not aware of you know how the world perceives you like I said girlhood into womanhood and then you keep um, you know going about your day uh, your life and uh, people would say things about black women and um, and then um, that affects you obviously let's see I'm going to choose this one all the negative you know, the stereotypes about black women being angry, um, um, black, you know, as a girl, um, as like a four-year-old, five-year-old, you know, in the black family, uh, black girls tend to be sexualized early on, even before going out into the world and being and dealing with all the stereotypes that black uh, black girls and black women deal with, it's it's the the black family that actually uh, destroys your self esteem. Self esteem destroyed. Your innocence. by the black community. By the black family, actually. Um, by the non-existent father and mother who is jealous of you. Um, and uh, usually uh, black mothers doesn't, don't tell their daughters about um, how to navigate the world as a black woman okay um, so yeah from girlhood to m womanhood um, you know all these things happening self-esteem is not protected innocence is not protected um, and you know you're not physically safe uh, because also in the black family, there's a lot of corporal punishment. <clears throat> corporal punishment, which means they would hit you physically <clears throat> instead of explaining what you did wrong. And there's a lot of religious programming. as to, you know, why you shouldn't do things, instead of explaining things, it's always, oh, why, why can't I do this? God said so. Um, there's no explanation. Why? Because God said so. 
car because I pay the bills in the home and because I said so. So you grow up believing that the reason why things happen that um, you have no control over what happens to you. So external locus of control. External meaning um, there's, you believe that it's only external forces that have control over what happens in your life, the decisions you make. Um, it's very um, irrational way of thinking because you, in life as an adult, you have to make decisions and you can't keep blaming external forces like, you know, your employer or you know, white supremacy for everything. Okay, let's see. Okay, and once you, um, once your self-esteem is destroyed in the sense violated and you are uh, an adult, you're a woman, then, uh, you know, at least in my case, I only found out about how you know, there's a lot of black men who hate black women. When I came on YouTube, uh, I was searching for um, black hair care. I was typing in black hair care. And then I found the pink pill. Uh, at that time, uh, she used to go by Crystal and Karazin. Or the the branding. Uh, okay. So then, yeah, there were, you know, endless videos about um, black women. And, you know, all of it was negative. Anyways, um, so when, when you come into awareness of the way that the black community sees you, Okay, here, let me talk about the different, you know, like the onion that is your identity. So first level, you and then the outside is your family and then there's the tribe which is you know people who look like you the black community and then there's the non-black um, tribe tribes um, and then, I mean, yeah, so let's just keep it simple. So going out, family, tribe, non-black tribe. Um, there's all these messages coming from, you know, the non-black tribes about, you know, how black people are in general and how black women are. And most of it is negative. Then there's the your tribe, the black community. And um let's see, I'm gonna pick a watercolor. And uh in the tribe, you know, I talked about how there's all these violations that happen in the black family and in the black community, even before going in into the non black community. So there's all these like um, atrocities that happen and there's no psychological help so you're you're just trying to deal with it, all of it 
and trying to you know you would just try to justify not justify but like explain it by talking about oh you know god is in control so i should just pray more and oh like people who are older than me have more control so i'll just like try to please them you know um all that stuff but but um you know at the end of the day you realize that no it's, it's things are actually more nuanced and more complicated uh so that's the awareness part you become aware of all the hate and resentment that's di being directed towards you and when that happens okay let's, boop. okay when the awareness happens oh, mm -hmm. interesting anyways when you become aware the first emotion is denial I'm going to pick another watercolor. Transparent watercolor. Okay, the first step is denial. So you just keep telling yourself, no, it's not happening. No, it's not true. People don't hate me. Black men don't hate me. No. I should just stick it out. Um, a lot of black women get, are stuck in the denial phase. They're still dealing with grief because of the awareness. But they're stuck in the denial phase because they're told that, oh, they should, they should blame everything on white supremacy. Denial. Denial is a comfortable place to be in. But you don't want to stay there. Because ultimately you want to get to the acceptance phase. Where you're free to... You know, it, it feels way more better to be in the acceptance phase and uh, make grown-up decisions. Denial. And then denial phase, um, it's all about, you know, going to church and listening to people preach about, oh, you know, we have to stay together, stick together as a black community. But they never talk about how there's all these hurtful things that uh, are done in the community and in the family that um, that destroys your self-esteem violates um, your innocence okay so denial um, most what I'm seeing mostly in social media is uh, black women stuck in the let me see in the anger phase I don't know where how to get a, a brown color. Oh, brown. Brown skin girl. Okay. Anger. Anger phase. Uh, if I've released the video on anger and how it's a strong emotion, you can, you know connect with this phase more or like understand it more it's really important to and understand how to transmute your anger um the first time i heard the the word transmute it was from ksc trans transmute kendall st charles um, 
if you go to Butterfly Bush, my website, butterflybush.org. I like Butterfly Bush, that's why I chose that name. But if you go to that uh, website and go to the purple, pur oh, purple. Pur U R P L E effort page, then uh, go to KSC's card, and if you click on the plus button, there's a list of courses that you can buy from her by emailing uh, KSC admin. Uh, all the details will be in, on that page. Okay, so in the anchor phase, anger phase, I'm seeing a lot of black women are stuck there, unfortunately. Um, but like I said before, we have to learn how to transmute that um, so it doesn't consume us, right? Because anger is, um, the element of anger is fire. And if you stay with that fire element, you'll get burnt. Burnt into a crisp. I see um, a lot of, you know, black women arguing with black men and other black women about, you know, about different things, but you know, at the end of the day, it's because of the pain from all the grief. The grief, the un untold, unsaid violence and violation and self-esteem um, destroying uh, elements in the community the corporal punishment religious programming external locus of control all these unanswered questions um yeah so there's a lot of anger um when you're angry, you're usually not um, focused on solutions, so. Okay, so after anger, after anger, oh wait, this one and that, smooth. After denial, anger, and then after anger is bargaining. Let me choose another color for it. Bargaining. Bargaining is when, you know, after, you know, the anger cools off or you transmute it. Um, you keep bargaining about like, oh, you know, it's not so bad. You try to convince yourself, you know, all the things that, you know, the black community has done to me as a girl. Oh, it's not so bad. They did it all, you know, they didn't know what they were doing when they were, you know, beating me up instead of explaining why I shouldn't do things a certain way or, you know, different, you know, violations and all that. You keep bargaining. Oh, you know, I, I should forgive them and all that stuff. You know, like you're you're thinking more you're trying to be positive, you're right? You're trying to think positive thoughts. You're trying to think of forgiving, you know, for forgive and forget. And forget. Let's see. Forget and you know, oh, you forgive for yourself, not for others, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, it's just bargaining. You're, it's a phase of uh, grief. Grief, yeah. So in the bargaining phase, you're trying to be fair and balanced, you know. Um, fair and balanced. Even though it's you who's been taken from, you're trying to be like, oh, you know, I should just turn the other cheek, forgive, and then, 
forget all that stuff. You know, um, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So, you know, you, you keep praying for your enemies. You know, pray for your for those who persecute you. All that stuff is in scripture, in the Bible. And then after you bargain things, then um, you're still in the grief process. Just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going to choose another color for depression. Blue. Blue is like depression color, right? Depression. Depression is sadness and um, um yeah, it's like deep sadness. Depression because you know you're in the grieving process and after bargaining about you know, like, oh, I should be fair and balanced. I should forgive and forget. You re you realize that, like, all the things that were done to you, you can't really get retribution for it, right? And that's a very depressing, pres depressing thought. You know, uh, it's depressing to realize your the position that the world has put you in, the world that your parents. Your family has put you in. The black tribe has put you in. The non-black people of the world have put you in as a black woman. They want to keep everyone... Everyone wants to be on top of black women. Like, we're at the bottom of the ladder as far as, like... All the pain they expect us to endure. So yeah, in the depression phase, you know, you're sad, all that stuff. Um, and it's it's an emotion that your psyche doesn't want to experience. And which is why a lot of people get stuck in the earlier phases of bargaining, of anger and denial. is because your psyche doesn't want to be in this depression phase. Right? You wouldn't blame your psyche for not wanting to feel depressed. But it's only through experiencing depression you have to go through it in order for acceptance. You know, meeting the rainbow. Okay, let me pick another lively color for acceptance. For acceptance is the ultimate goal when you're grieving, whatever it is, you know, you, you might be grieving your the loss of your innocence, you know, you might be grieving how your self-esteem was trampled on constantly, right? So acceptance is the ultimate goal. Acceptance is not forgiveness you're not forgiving you know the violations that have happened to you uh, because ultimately forgiving has the energy of um oh uh, that's also another concept that i learned from ksc is the whole uh when you forgive you're just uh energetically letting the universe know that oh it's okay just keep doing whatever um whatever you know violation or destroying elements you know you're inviting it more of it into your life but acceptance is more like oh okay you know if if black men are saying oh we don't like you because you're not light-skinned or your skin is not or not skin but <laughs> your hair is not loose blah blah you're like okay you know um, I accept that that's how you feel. It doesn't mean that I have to feel like, it doesn't mean that I have to, uh, 
put myself down. It just means I accept that whoever said that about me is not going to be in my life. Uh, I accept um, instead of forgiving, I accept the things that have happened and um, that I have to move on. Right? You don't want to be stuck in the anger phase of well, this happened to me, that happened to me, therefore, you know, I have to burn everything down into ashes and just get stuck there. Um, yeah. The topic of acceptance is really, it's not a religious term. Um, I don't like the religious um teaching of forgiveness because because it puts you in a weak position where whatever happened will probably happen again um yeah so i guess the overall message is to for black women is to you know go through the process your psyche is afraid of being in so if you're stuck in the denial phase it's because your psyche is afraid of or trying to avoid going through the anger phase if you're stuck in the anger phase you know you're stuck between anger and bargaining um your psyche is is not willing to think of Oh, okay, if this, do, you know, if that, if I'm not going to get retribution, then what am I going to get in exchange? Uh, and then, of course, depression. Um, it's not a pleasant um, psychological state to be in. So um, if you're stuck in the bargaining phase, um, you know, look up the grapevine on YouTube there's a lot of videos with black women talking about um, about the black community and white supremacy all that stuff so they're stuck in the bargaining phase um, grapevine YouTube channel um, I mean they have good you know good material it's really thought-provoking material but they don't have a solution it's just complaining uh, depression depression is um, a lot of us are very familiar with that acceptance acceptance is sovereignty acceptance is accepting that the world is the way it is and uh, you have to find a way to exist in it in the acceptance phase you're not a social justice warrior you're not trying to drag everyone up behind you you're not trying to you know be fair and balanced or try to include every social group in your social justice movements and all that Acceptance is living by yourself or being okay with being alone. With just you in the middle. Acceptance is not being afraid to interact with non-black people. Um, there's allies of all colors and genders and ages and nationalities and ethnicities and religions acceptance is existing in the world as a a global citizen acceptance is you know zooming out zooming out from your perspective, you know, like 
listening to different perspectives and seeing where you where you are being free to go places experience different perspectives different you know different religions um you know forming and shaping god in your own image instead of accepting the the god um the patriarchal god or the abrahamic god who um who tells you to or like who at least the church keeps telling you is like a certain kind of god but acceptance is seeing yourself as a god goddess great um i hope this um opened some eyes and i hope this helps women black women specifically go through the different phases of the grieving process denial work through your anger work through bargaining work through depression and finally get to the acceptance phase thank you i'll uh, please leave a comment like and subscribe